So I was an under-recruited uh, player coming out of high school. Um, I didn't have any scholarship offers until about two weeks before I graduated. It was a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in consecutive days. I got calls from Akron, Eastern Michigan, and Toledo. Visited Akron and Toledo, ended up picking Toledo because it just felt right. And, and you know, I guess the rest is history from there. My junior year was the bona fide starter at the exposition, was all conference, was academic all conference, and was starting to get some praise about a guy that could potentially play in the NFL. I led the country in catches that year. That was the 2003 season. And really at that point, that was the first time in my life that I ever even considered that the NFL was a possibility. Up until then, it was just, I want to play in college, you know, and that was, that was kind of my mission. Um, but from that point on, after my junior year, my focus totally shifted to, okay, I want to go to the NFL. Then into my senior year, you know, another great season, all conference, um, some honorable mention, all, all American awards and invited to the combine, invited to two all-star games. Um, and then the, the fourth quarter of a meaningless Motor City Bowl, I get hurt, dislocate my shoulder, end up having shoulder surgery. And from that point on, it was just like a major setback um, for me because I felt like the momentum was moving forward and fast and upward for me. Um, but at that moment, it just all kind of stopped. I went to the combine, but I was I was hurt. I was I think I was six weeks post surgery, so I was nowhere near ready to be. I wasn't even running at that point. I mean, I, my my shoulder was was still fairly weak, but I wasn't I wasn't gonna let that affect my mentality. I was still gonna approach my rehab and my training the same way, and probably with a little more aggressiveness, just to try to get back to where I was and and show that you know how great of a player I was. A couple of my buddies and I were possible draft picks at that point. But the Bengals and the Bills were the teams that were calling me starting from about the fourth round. Both the receiver coaches at the time and they were saying, hey, you know, we've got X amount of picks coming up. You know, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get you, basically. Go through and, you know, the fifth round goes and the sixth round goes and the seventh round comes and the Buffalo coach calls me like, hey, we've got three draft picks. We're gonna pick you with one of those draft picks. I'm like, great, you know, so I'm telling my buddies like, yeah, Buffalo, you know, they're, they're gonna pick me. <laughs> and then the draft goes by um, the seventh round and, and I don't get picked. And at that time, it was kind of, well, I was really disappointed because as a guy that has, you know, a goal or a dream to play in the NFL, I think, you know, being drafted is, is one of those things, you know, it's one of those goals. In, in conversations with my agent before the draft was over, he said, hey man, you know, it's late enough now that if you don't get picked, we're gonna have our choice of, of where we want to go in free agency. It's, you know, at, at least if you get drafted somewhere, you're stuck. You don't have any negotiating power, basically, especially as a seventh round pick. That kind of cheered me up a little bit, just knowing, okay, we're gonna have our pick of a couple of teams, not, not necessarily all 32 teams at that point, but didn't get drafted. Um, and the um, Browns were the first team on the horn. You know, being an Ohio guy, played, at, at Toledo in Ohio for college and then Cleveland. I mean, that, for me, that was pretty cool. My, most of my family at the time was still in Ohio. Bet it was between Buffalo again, I mean, because they, they still wanted me. Um, they just wanted me to come in as a free agent and I, I, I picked Cleveland.